Hello, hi, how you doing? It is I, it is Jim, it is still Wednesday, and still listening to music, and still listening to just single songs. And this time, it's the turn of the band Griffin. And this has been requested by Mr. Wondrous. Uh, David, uh, you have asked for this as part of your... Um, a perk for your membership of the channel, uh, which, of course, you're welcome and right to to do so. Welcome and right to do so. You're, you're welcome to have whatever you want and you're right to request it. Uh, so this is a band called Griffin. Right, I need to get me glasses on. Um, I don't know anything about this band. They are, other than what I'm finding out on my phone here, so I don't have any of their music. I've had to download this, buy it off uh, of iTunes. Uh, so Griffin are an English progressive and medieval folk rock band formed in London in 72. They are known for their medieval and renaissance style of music. Okay. Um, the album that this song is taken from is called Red Queen to Griffin 3. And the song is called, I think it's just called Spasm. Um... Prog Archives, Prog Archives, uh, Second Spasm, All right, so who do we have in the band? We have Richard Harvey on keyboards, recorders, and Crumhorn, oh, this is hilarious, Brian Gulland, bassoon Crumhorn, Graham Taylor on guitars, uh, Philip Nestor on bass, and David Oberly on drums, percussion, timpani. Uh, then with Ernest Hart on organ and Peter Redding on acoustic bass. Um, see what the first review says on here. Griffin's best record. Okay. Renaissance and classical influences are prominent in this entirely instrumental work. This is an absolute masterpiece recommended to all lovers of instrumental prog, Think of Jethro Tull's Thick as a Brick, crossed with Renaissance music. Thinky <laughs> dokey. Right, so that's all we need to know. We're ready to go. So let's listen to this. This is Second Spasm by Griffin. Three, two, one, pop. <laughs> Okay, so not kidding. We're in the court of uh, Henry VIII or something like that, aren't we? Well, earlier, I think. Yes, one is amused. One is amused. Okay. Um. 
Sounds like um, a styrofoam. Isn't that what they used to do? A little. Moved on. I know this is played by people, but it sounds almost like the really cheesy music of a 1990s video game on a Sega, Sega Mega Drive. <laughs> Just imagine courtiers and ladies dancing <laughs> 500 years ago around a great stone hall, waving hankies at each other. It's incredible. This is looking so far back in time. It's incredible.
there's the crossover we didn't know we needed. <laughs> Medieval folk music with rock. Wow. I don't think I've ever heard that ever before, anything quite like that. I think maybe the closest thing to that I might have heard would be Sky, um, where they uh playing some very old pieces of music. Um but with a in a in a modern band setting, say modern in the eighties, uh, but it's uh, this was authentic using really authentic uh, instruments. I don't know whether they were actually uh, playing a piece of music which existed, or whether they were just writing it in entirely it was his own piece. But that was fantastic, <laughs> really fun, really different, very very different from pretty much anything else we've had on the channel. Um, I was saying that uh, they're harking back to uh, more than a bygone age. I mean, it's it's sort of way back in history, so four, five, six hundred years ago. Um, and the only other music that I think I've had on the channel that can beat that would be Highlung, where it's uh, music produced now by a modern band, but it's going back two, three, four thousand years to uh, prehistoric music. And um, uh, this is probably more authentic because it's closer to something that might have been written down. <laughs> Nobody has any idea what that music would have been like two, three, four thousand years ago. But uh, um, you can guess. Huh. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Well, David, thank you very, very much indeed. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope everybody else did as well. Um, I certainly did. Um, I shall be actually getting some Griffin. So I have no doubt this will be featuring on the channel again at some point soon. Um, we shall see <laughs> see what we get. I'll try and get this album um, and sort of play the rest of it. There you go. Right. Love it. I'll see you guys on the next video whenever and whatever that is. And until then, this is Jim over. Thank you.